uh, congratulations on the movie, Lorenza. Thank you. This was a lot of fun to watch. I'm in glad. More ways, of, <laughs> more ways than one, yeah. It was fun to make. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, you've played a number of characters in movies that have met, uh, have dealt with a lot of brutality. Yeah. And uh, I, I just, what, what brings you back to those roles? I don't know. I think I, I've done a variety of work, thank God. Um, mm -hmm. I just think the ones that get more buzz are these type of roles, and it's great because I think this genre, particularly scary movies and horror, travels internationally. It's, it's a genre, no matter what culture you come from, you can relate to, and who doesn't want a great scare? Not me, personally. I don't <laughs> like horror movies. <laughs> but I respect the genre, and I get it. So I think what's brought me back has been good opportunities and great characters. I think what's so awesome about... Um, Green Inferno in particular is that it's such a cool story and it has humor in it and it's real and it's it, it's so relatable. I mean, I, I relate to it in such a way where I read the script and I was like, oh my God, this is more a coming of age story than it really is about these kids traveling to the jungle. It means so much more for her. I think my character in particular starts as a very naive, sort of dreamlike character. Um, who wants to give back to society and has like a huge learn <laughs> learn lesson <laughs> period where she goes literally through the ringer and comes back a soldier, I think, a warrior. And I think that's such a beautiful sort of image that we all go through, whether it be in high school, in college, when you have a divorce. I think that's a little extreme. But you know, when you learn lessons in life, I think that's a great metaphor, kind of the Green Inferno to it. And I'm just looking for great stories to tell. And it's just mm -hmm. so happened that it has been on these type of movies. Yeah, that's a good point because this movie sort of feels it's somewhat critical of social activism. Co completely. I mean, yeah. I, what I like about this movie is that it's very charged with a lot of, what Eli is great at this, is having like, um, <laughs> Roth, the director, <laughs> is great at having like social comments in there. You know, I think he kind of writes about what he sees and what he experiences. And I think um, these kids, even though they have great intentions, they're doing this thing that happens a lot that I see around me in my generation, which is the retweet button. You know, you see a cause and you have to retweet it because if not, you're a bad person. You know, if you're not doing anything like, but it's a social media, it's very easy to just say click in your iPhone, then actually grab your bags, pack, leave everything and go to Africa and do something about that cause that you're reading about. Um, so I think it's a very uh, now, uh, how do you say this? Like, it's happening now. I see it every day. Yeah. So I love that the movie's actually coming out now and not a year ago when it's, now it's way more present in our society. It is, absolutely, yeah. yeah. I mean, how I think we deal daily with people telling you, oh my God, what a bad person you are. How can you not care about this? And you're like, I can't even have an opinion without being blasted by everyone. So true, so true. I've been dealing with that a lot recently. I bet you have. I mean, <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> and uh, you have a number of very challenging scenes in this movie to perform. Which was the most challenging for oh you? Oh, my God. Uh, I Every day in the jungle, because we shot in New York, um, and we shot in order, and that was great for me because I kind of got to do the journey with Justine. Um, so New York was pretty cool. It was easy. It was stable. And then we went into the jungle, and I had never been to the jungle, not in that way at least. And it was we went farther than any cameras had gone. So the challenge of that was everything. Nature was not our best friend. You know, it would rain out of nowhere. So one of the main things was you had to be ready for whatever scene because the plan was going to change constantly. You could be doing scene 132, and you would go back to 60. The good thing is that in all the scenes, you had to be covered in dust and mud and blood, so makeup wasn't really hard. So one of the challenges was keeping up with the pace of nature. <laughs> yeah. And I think one of the hardest ones for me has to be between when I'm tied up to the tree and we're doing the protest, because nobody knows this, but I get there in the morning and I see the tree on fire. And I'm like, oh, great, <laughs> special effects, that's awesome. <laughs> no, we're smoking out the bugs, you're gonna be tied to that. And I'm like, uh, okay, so it's gonna be, there's not gonna be any fire when I'm there. Oh, we hope so. And I'm like, okay. So I get there and I'm wearing this overall and I can feel the bugs creeping in because only half of them have left. So that whole scene, I can feel ants crawling. And I'm talking, I'm not talking about little ants, I'm talking about ants this big. Oh, that if wow. those bite you, you're gone, you're out for the day. Mm -hmm. So that was a challenge. <laughs> and then also the river scene was a really tricky one because there were no stunt doubles where we were at. Um, we had this guy that was sort of helping out and tied a rope around me and threw me in the river, and that was kind of it. And there was a safe word, which was Cuerda. So I'm screaming, Daniel, Daniel! And all of a sudden, I feel the current kind of shift me and grab me, and my hip goes into the rock, and I realize if my hip goes off, I'm done, I'm gone. And that river takes you fast. And the only safety net was three guys a little bit lower with like kind of like trying to gap, grab me in case I, I fell out of the rock. So I'm screaming, Daniel, and I feel my hip, and I go, Cuerda! Cuerda! No one's yelling cut because I think with all the noise, they're like, oh, this is great. Lorenzo's best acting. And I'm like, I'm not acting. <laughs> Finally, they yelled cut and I did not die, but I was, I had, um, I had really bad marks from that. But it was, 
you know, at the same time, I look back and I'm like, wow, we were we were crazy. That was insane. <laughs> that is insane. Well, I'm glad you came out of it in one piece. <laughs> I, me too. Me too. <laughs>